Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to film a first impression review on the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I think it was quite requested, yeah, to do a video on this foundation. Well, you guys just love watching foundation reviews in general. I just kind of try it on, show you guys a demo of what it looks like when I'm applying it with a beauty, blend, beauty blender and a brush. And you can just hear my thoughts on it and see if I would recommend it or not. The lip combo that I'm wearing right now is a MAC lip liner in More to Love and Joseph Colors Desert Suede. That's my lip combo. I also have a full tutorial filmed on this eye look, the eyes and the lips. It's my festival inspired makeup look. Check that out if you guys want to. It'll just be in my makeup playlist. That's about it. Today we're doing a first impression review on the Makeup Forever HD foundation. That's just what mine looks like. Mine is in the shade Y405 and I think it's Golden Honey. I bought this online because we don't have a store in New Zealand that sells Makeup Forever as far as I know. So I used the foundation.com app to match my foundation because I had no idea what shade I was. And yeah, it matched me to this one. So I'm going to do a shade comparison like I usually do because you guys really appreciate that. That is the Makeup Forever HD. Then we're gonna go in with I am NT40 in Mac Studio Fix. That's Studio Fix next to it, and then I'm also gonna grab Nas Shea Glow in the shade Syracuse. So Mac is slightly lighter, more yellow. Nas is a bit more browner, a bit closer to my skin tone around my jaw. Makeup Forever seems to be like an in-between, or like a little bit darker than the MAC Studio Fix. At first I was like, I don't know if it matched me right, but it seems alright, so I'm just gonna wipe this off. So usually with my first impressions, I will leave it on for a few hours because right now it's about 6 p.m. I'm just gonna do a quick first impression. I don't think I'll do any updates because I'm not gonna be wearing it for that long. So I'll just let you guys know what my thoughts are and I guess if it oxidizes after I put my makeup on, I'll show you guys what it looks like after my full makeup's on and yeah, we'll just do it that way. So I'm just gonna prime my face. I always use a primer with all my first impressions. Today I'm gonna use the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. This is oil control. I don't really get um oily skin. I just not bothered using another primer. We'll just use this. I tend to always do my first impressions like half-half. So I'll do use a brush, apply foundation on one side and I'll also use a beauty blender. I'm gonna put a, a pump of the Makeup Forever on my hand. That's what it looks like. I'm surprised there. Like when I saw it in here I was like oh my gosh this is not my shade but I was just being ridiculous. So I'm just gonna start putting that on my face. First thoughts it clearly is my shade. So the foundation.com website does a really good job at matching you because all you do is you enter in like all your other shades in foundation. So I usually put in like MAC, NARS and Estee Lauder. Oh, Estee Lauder, I'm shade Cashew by the way. Seems to have done an okay job. I wouldn't say it's high coverage though. Maybe it's just because I applied it with a beauty blender. So I'm gonna use the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush because it's got all those little angles. And let's just start buffing this in. I feel like that was a lot better in terms of how quick it blends in versus the beauty blender. It looks like the same coverage but the side with the brush seems to have, like obviously I've used this foundation. I'm just going to use a bit more just to balance it out. But I kind of feel like it's light to medium coverage, kind of medium. I don't know if you guys can tell but it's like clinging to all my little like dry bits here which is really strange because I haven't found the foundation to do that to me. And it's getting a lot yellower I feel. Alright so. I'm gonna go set my makeup and do my eye makeup and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I've got all my makeup on. Things I noticed about this foundation is it looks slightly, I think it's oxidized just a little bit on my face. I mean, you guys can't tell, but when I left to go look in the mirror outside, it does look like it's oxidized just a little bit. And also, I've been wearing it for, I think, two hours now. Yeah, it seems to have oxidized a little bit. Um, it seems to be clinging to like my little dry patches here and I've never actually had a problem with that. So I'm not the kind of person that has dry skin and I'm like, oh, foundation kind of, whoops, my bad. I'm not the kind of person that has dry skin and foundation kind of clings to the dry patches on my face so it's kind of interesting to see that a foundation did this to me <laughs> did it to me in such a victim <laughs> yeah it's just interesting to see that a foundation had that effect on my skin so that's just what I kind of think about it is it like a favorite not really just because of how it just reacted with my skin in terms of giving me patches of like dryness like it's alright it's not terrible I mean if it were to break me out I would just hate it completely but 
what are you gonna do? So yeah, I just think it's okay. Like it's not something that I would really recommend because it's not something that I love, but it was cool to try out and see how it is. If you guys enjoyed the video and if you like watching first impression reviews of products like foundations or anything really, then let me know in the comments and if so, what would you like to see a first impression on next? Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with my uploads and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! The truth is so hard to find With all the things that's going on I love what else? Like I what else, my children? So if you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys see like <laughs>